I'm Kayla. I'm Alyssa. And this is the Christie Club. Yeah, like totally. I yeah. mean, um... Like, like, it was like amazing. Yeah, yeah. And also not, but like, kind of. Well, I mean, if you... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know. That, it's just, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, um, totally, yeah. Um, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know... All those yeahs and ums, that reminds me of what we sound like when we're doing this podcast. Really? Oh my oh. god, you're so right. And guess what? We're actually here to do another episode. No kidding. <laughs> when we read five more chapters of the book, Cards on the Table. So we read chapters 22 through 26. Yes. Okay. You want to just go through step by step? Yeah. All right, let's do it. In 22, nothing much happened except... Um, Superintendent Battle discovers that Miss Meredith was connected to a case of poisoning. Um, sure. But, and then he goes and he visits Devonshire to investigate this further, but all evidence uh, points to the fact that it was probably an accident. Um, it was like, this, even the servants like overheard the her employer... <laughs> Um, order her to put, um, like, hat paint into a syrup, uh, syrup bottle, um, and then it was just, she just missed it, mistook the bottle, um, for her actual syrup, and then... Yeah, it was kind of boring. The only important thing is it, it brings up the question, she probably did murder this lady, but we, you, you have no idea why didn't Anne Meredith murder Miss Benson, her employer. Like, wh- we don't know why. Yeah, they said There's there just no reason to, she didn't get money or anything like that, so was, that's like, hardly the question that... That that plants in your brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we get to the next chapter. Chapter 23, the evidence of a pair of silk hose. Oh, um, and what's up with these stockings? I know, right? I was, I was so ready for this chapter. Um, so Rhoda and Anne are basically invited to Poirot's place. Um, and while they're talking, I found it interesting that uh, everyone, like... Even Anne points out that she's the least likely suspect, which in turn makes her the most likely to do it. Yes, exactly. But I was like, but what if that in turns makes her the least likely? (laughs) And then you could go in circles. But we already did that intro. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So I thought that was interesting that uh, Agatha Christie's... Even, like, Anne, the character itself is pointing out She's what like we already know. She's, recognizing the tropes and, and yeah. the patterns and things. Um, yes. Oh, and then while they were t- uh, chatting, they were kind of talking very rudely about Poirot. And they were, like, <laughs> marking on his age and, like, stuff. And Gosh, and he's in his six, 70s. 60s. 60s. They are like, like, oh, he must be old. at least 60. I'm like, well, it's not that old. But, I mean, yeah. I, I searched it and, like, their, um, their life expectancy around that time was, like, 55 to 65, oh. sort of. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that was like a rough average. But I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, he, he would definitely be a little bit older to them. And then when they arrive, um, Poirot plays the memory game with Anne Meredith. Uh, she describes, I was right though, she describes very little of her surroundings. No, she's described more than I thought she was going to. She. Well, it, she noticed like a case of jewelry or something? Yes. And that she described in great detail, but everything else she was like, I have no idea. Um, sure. So I thought, I thought that was suspicious. Yeah. But then, uh, Boro oh, sets a of... trap, mm-hmm. uh, with Anne Meredith. He, like, lays out these stockings, and he's like, uh, I want to know, just pick six of them. And, Because yeah. I want to know, like, what's a good style for, like, a present for my niece or something. And then he purposely, like, leaves the room with Rhoda, so she... Rhoda? Yes, Rhoda. So, she, so she's alone. And we're like, mm. And so you know he, there's something going on here, and we kind of figure out what it is in the second chapter, so. So then uh, Poirot um, reveals that this was an experiment laid for uh, Miss Meredith because um, when he had set them out, he made sure that it was all very messy, which is yes. totally unlike him. Mm. Um, so So that she wouldn't. And he made it clear that he didn't have, like, a an exact idea of how many stockings he had to begin yep. with. So, but he, we of course know that because in the previous, in several chapters earlier, he, he says exactly. he, he buys 19 pairs. Mm-hmm. And when he comes back, he counts them. There's only 17. Dun, dun, dun. She stole them. She I, stole two I pairs. I wrote that she's a kleptomaniac. I was like, she's a thief. <gasps> um, one or the other, yes. And so that kind of 
the importance of this is that she probably killed her employer because she stole something. And she probably, she might have killed Shaitana as well for the same reason. We don't know. Um, because she did note that uh, jewelry case. Oh, by the way, mm-hmm. he had planted, uh, not exactly planted, but he had um, sort of pretended that he had already set a trap. And I thought this yeah, was with Yeah, with the dagger. With the, he mentioned the dagger. He's like, oh, so that must have been near the dagger or across the room from the dagger, and right? And she correctly is like, oh, I didn't notice where the dagger was. Mm-hmm. So if she was the murderer, like, she got through that trap, but that put her at ease because she thought, like, that was why he called me here. So now the rest of this is just whatever. The rest of this is just chitter And then so she I'm... didn't realize that the stockings was the real trap. Mm-hmm. And, but here's the thing. In the next chapter they point out yeah, she probably murdered this person because she steals stuff. <laughs> um, but that doesn't necessarily mean she murdered Mr. Shaitana. Yes, but if he knew that about her, we already see how, how anxious she gets just by the mention of poison. Yeah. And, um, and but how... Mr. Shaitana wasn't poisoned. No, but he he was mentioning poison at the dinner party. Oh, and he was like, I see. He was alluding to... Oh, so she could have felt like, <gasps> they're going to find out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I see. Um, yes. And her, her nerves basically drove her to um, murder, I guess. Yeah, so then things get interesting when Miss Lorimar calls Poro to come see her. Mm-hmm. And... I have a note that I love that uh, Poro mentions that Miss Lorimer is the person who would be most likely to get away with this crime, mm-hmm. and he he ta- and it's because she's like the most intelligent person <laughs> out of the four of them, and I think that's, that's just great that she, uh, it's a woman who's like a uh, superior in <laughs> intellectual <laughs> abilities well, here. Yes, I mean she's she's incredibly cool and calculating, and yeah. Poro, um, whereas say Dr. Roberts would have been too. Um, I don't know, he kind of would have rushed it, and he wouldn't have been as careful. And then uh, Major Despard would probably be the opposite. He would have said, no, oh, it's no. not worth the risk to yeah. begin with, and he wouldn't have murdered anyone. And what's interesting is uh, they everyone, uh, even Poro, believes uh, Despard's story. And I'm starting to like, okay, he's probably right with that story. Um, which means he didn't actually murder anyone, so he's the one... He's like an he's the murderer. an instant murderer, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. And too bad, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but... Go into the twist? The yes. first twist. So, Miss Lorimer, the reason she brought Poro to her house is because she confesses she was the murderer. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> and then I even wrote a note, I think she's lying. Mm-hmm. I remember. Because it just is out of nowhere. Where's this coming from? Mm-hmm. And she's saying, I did it, I stabbed him. She gives and her actually a very elaborate explanation. Yeah. And I did, she murdered her husband in the past. Which I thought was interesting. I wanted to hear more about that. Yeah, and Poro mentions that he totally would never have gotten this out of Miss Lorimer because she's such a calculated, like, intelligent person that he wouldn't have been able to find this out about her Mm -hmm. unless she told him. Yes. But he, he's worried because, first of all, Poro does not make mistakes. (laughs) Yes, he had that whole little, little, like, kind of rant. He's like, no. Uh, and she's all like, oh, you must just be mad. And he's like, I can't be mad. I must be right. But it doesn't make sense to him because she's the kind of person that would make a calculated murder. And that's not what this murder was. Yes, it he was says a this very risky, like, out of spontaneous thing. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, this doesn't make sense. He's like, it's not in your character to do to commit this crime when it wasn't premeditated. You were mm-hmm. the one who would have already, like, planned this, like way in advance. Every single detail would have been perfect. You would have gotten away with it. Um, but this was supposedly spontaneous mm-hmm. because they didn't expect to have been invited there with all the other guests. Everyone hardly knew Shaitana himself. They didn't know they were going to have to sit at this table and like the circumstances. Mm-hmm. But also, she says when she's like confessing to the murderer that she was the dummy. And I was like, I thought she was never the dummy. I know, but then again... I was thinking, wait, what about that last game? Because in the last oh. game, it was interrupted. But so there's a chance she was the dumb. But she's such a good player. I like feel like she wouldn't. Uh, yeah, and I was like, then so she I think that might be, might have been a clue, clue that we caught up on because mm-hmm. Poro was like, no, 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 this is not why you you did not commit this murder. Oh, and we also find out that Miss Laura Murray is dying. Yes, yes, she says she, um, in her explanation, she says that. She was visiting um, a specialist and that she has some sort of terminal illness and they gave her just a couple of months um, Mm -hmm. left to live. 
And that was the day that she had met Miss Meredith. Um, they had tea together, and she was acting mm -hmm. a little funky. Yeah. And I remember you pointed out, like, oh, she's talking about life and death and yeah. age, and I bet she's going to be most likely to um, to stick up for Miss Meredith if it is Miss Meredith. So you were totally I was right. So right, guys. I I guess the entire thing. Yeah. I knew she was going to confess to the murder, and that was her role in the story. But it wasn't actually her because. Poro figures out it wasn't actually Miss Lorimer. Plot twist, it was Anne Meredith. Oh, yeah! Woo! We did it. We figured, we figured it, it out. And I, like, figured it out all, like, the, the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. I'm so proud you, of you. Yeah, you guessed the, the Lorimer twist and everything. Yeah. Um, and I knew when Miss Lorimer confessed, I was like, that's what's happening. <laughs> she did not actually do it. Mm -hmm. And it was funny, though, because it was like, all of that could have totally worked, but... But yeah, Poro finds out, he figures it out, like, no, you you just empathized with her so much, you didn't want... Yeah, and Miss Lorimer's know. already dying, and she's like, I committed murder, she feels kind of guilty for that. She's so like, she's I'm like, like I will give myself in, so Anne can get away free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And she feels for Anne, because, you know, Anne mur murdered someone, she murdered someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Anyways, I said in really big letters, I was right! <laughs> it was Anne, so... Yay! Yay! We guessed it. Um, did the twist with when Miss Lorimer said she did it? Did you believe her? Not really. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was just mainly because of what you said. If yeah. you hadn't said, said that, that though, you would have thought. You... I probably would have been like, mm, maybe she did do it. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know, because they did hold enough back for Mrs. Lorimer's life mm -hmm. that it could have made her more likely in that. Everything was just a mystery with her anyway. Um, yeah, but that wouldn't have been very But at the same satisfying. time, there were so many clues with Miss Mer Meredith, and she's yeah. so present in the novel, it has to have been her. Yeah. So we didn't actually get the, like, we, we still have five chapters to go. So we don't have the resolution. So we basically, like, ended on the chapter that said... It was Anne Meredith. It's yeah. so very dramatic, but we don't get all the resolution yet. I don't have much to say besides I guessed it. <laughs> it came out very dramatically, which was fun. Um, but it wasn't a surprise. Yeah, it was. So that's a little too bad. I mean, it still it still had that sort of thrill, though. It did. It did have, it. but it was kind of predictable, and it you know. Yeah, I mean, as far as, yeah. I think it, I think it's not as predictable as we think it is, but, like, talking it out, like, I usually I read these books all at once, mm -hmm. but with us talking and stopping every so often and talking to each other about it and getting all the theories and looking really deep into all these clues, I think it's led us to be more aware of all the clues that are being led, mm -hmm. and so... I think that's another reason why it's not really a surprise. Yeah, it's all the Because time. of the way we're reading it. Yeah, all the time that we have for reflection, the notes that we're making. And, yeah. Yeah, and then... And the the very, very close reading. Which, yeah. usually, I'm not a very close <laughs> reader. I'm actually more of a skimmer. I am... Not gonna lie. I am a close reader. I... Sometimes I stumble over paragraphs, and then I have to go back and plow through it again. And that's why I'm a very slow reader. Mm -hmm. But, um, yes. Do you have anything else to add? Well, I suppose we can make some predictions based on the chapter that we had glimpsed, the name mm. of the chapter that we had glimpsed. Okay, earlier. so yeah, we're going to spoil, it's not really a spoiler, because the chapters all have, like, really fun names, mm -hmm. like the clue of this, or, and, well, that's not exactly it's super not exactly exciting, exactly but some of them are pretty exciting. We just finished The Truth, the next one is The Eyewitness, which I'm guessing is Miss Lorimer, Ms. Lorimer who and saw and do it. The, then the next chapter, very interesting, is Suicide. So that means there's going to be a suicide, and we still don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. So who do you think? Um, well, but that's not the last chapter. So no, 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 no. Then we have accident, so there's some kind of accident. Then there's mm -hmm. murder. And mm -hmm. So is this... No, of course a second murder. I don't know. I don't or... think there's going to be a second murder. I think it's just, like, in general murder. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, like, maybe it was, like, a certain previous murder, maybe... We or maybe someone tries to murder somebody, but it doesn't actually happen, like, as a, Ooh, I'm about cool. to get caught, this is my last thing. Uh -huh. And then Cards on the Table, the title of the book. So, very interesting. We still don't know some of the resolution, if they're gonna catch Anne, if they've... and stuff like that, but... Mm -hmm. We can, are you thinking at this point it's definitely 100% Anne? There's not going to be any more, like, twists, like it's not her. Yeah, like it's probably. I think it's all going to be explanations. But I think the big question is, who's going to, who Who do you think is the suicide? 
probably... I would say Anne. Yeah, probably Anne. I mean, because it seems like she has all this nervous tension anyway. Yeah. And it's all building up, and she probably couldn't go through life like Miss Lorimer with a guilty conscience. She probably, probably would have overwhelmed her. Um, so, yeah, I think it would probably be Anne. And then... Any other predictions for the future? I think it's going to be Anne, too. Yeah, and then accident. What do you think? The I mean, accident. It's totally no. random and totally vague, but... Accident. Um, I mean, maybe the suicide was a fail? Failure? And then, I don't know. Do you think, how do you think uh, Rhoda, Ron, Ron, Rhoda? Ro, Rhoda is going, <laughs> how do you think Rhoda is going to react to this news? Oh, I think she's going to get together with Bridget as <laughs> well. <laughs> That's funny. That was kind of I actually, sensitive. but okay, actually, I totally think she is because... They've made Mr. Uh, Major Despard innocent. He's not actually one of the murderers. Uh, so in so that powerful. way, so he's totally set up to be like a totally innocent character that can have a happy ending. Mm -hmm. So he's totally going to end up with Rhoda. Dang it. Rhonda, Ro Roa, you know. <laughs> yes. Um, wow. Man. I don't know. I feel like there is going to be more more of Mrs. Oliver. I hope there's going to be more of Mrs. Oliver in the last You're chapters. right, because Poirot's got to catch up all Miss Oliver and all the other... And all the other detectives. ...sleuths on what's happening here. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. Also, you're right, in the five chapters we just read, there was no Miss Oliver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't seen her since the conversation with Rhoda, I guess. Yeah, which is too bad. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping there's more of her. And then there, there's probably going to be some grand, like... Well, then... Happy know, ending. Like, oh, yeah. Like, the, the grand, like, the, uh, explanation from Poirot. But I don't know yeah. if that's going to happen. how he just... knew it. Okay, let's go back. I think we should go back through the different clues and see how they play in. Oh, do you think... So, the messiness. That was... We already know that because... Oh, yeah. A uh, person being messy makes it easier for Anne to steal from them. Mm -hmm. I was going to point that out. Yeah, that's why he knew. But how did he already know at that point? That's my question. How did he... So he, that's probably going to be in his grand reveal. It's mm -hmm. like, this is how I determined that she was a thief. And this is how... Yeah. He picks up on all these things usually way earlier than everyone else. And when you're describing the room, I guess her describing the jewelry, that's kind of something you might steal. Mm -hmm. And she also... It is... They do talk about a lot about how she doesn't have a lot of money. How she... Yeah, how she was poor, but how she was well-dressed. Yeah. I remember that. Because she because she's chapters. been, like, relying on Rhoda's... Rhonda... Ro, Ro, her money. <laughs> Any other clues, do you think? No. Playing of bridge. I think the playing of bridge helps to prove that it's not Miss Lorimer, which I was right, I guess, in that way. Um, Dr. Roberts is a red herring. So is Despard. And we learned that um, that Dr. Roberts' plane habits are the same, and he, he overbids whenever he plays bridge, yeah. apparently. So he wasn't using that as a tactic to just become a dummy. I don't know. Yes. I'm I'm excited for the for part of the grand reveal. Yeah, and grand reveal. Even though we already know the murder, I want to know how he um, figured that. Yeah, out. and the clues, and I want to see everyone's reactions. And mm -hmm. you know, the end of a end of a Agatha Christie book is usually pretty dramatic. This and <gasps> mm -hmm. oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't believe you, Anne. That's Major Despard. <laughs> no, I think he probably did because he he's. Well, you think he realized that Anne was a actually, martyr? Actually, maybe not, because then he probably wouldn't have gone and like helped her. But yeah, I still think his offering and then Ro of that yeah. help. I don't. I don't know. I think Rhoda would be pretty surprised. Like, oh Anne, yeah, yeah. I, never ever I want to see her reaction. You know? Um, like I was just um living with a with murderer. What the heck, you know? Anne's gonna cry. <laughs> She's yeah. <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry. I'm, I'm so just, sorry. I'm just a young girl, just like 25 years old. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't, do you think if she is alive by like mm -hmm. the very end of the book, do you think yeah, what do you that think it's... she'll be taken to justice like in through the legal system? Mm. Or do you think Poro somehow... Yeah, because there is times that Poro, especially for people that are young and very... <laughs> <laughs> experienced in life. Yeah, I guess. you don't feel very satisfied with just them like going to jail. It's like... So sometimes they have a different form of justice that happens. Mm -hmm. I don't um, know. I hope... But I mean, Poro did the, have that whole thing about how murderers, they feel like they can decide who lives and dies and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and so they shouldn't changes, be let go. changes the, the murderer. Yeah. So, 
I, yeah, I think, I kind of hope that the murderer is taken to justice regardless, because, or maybe, like, well, I guess if Mrs. Lorimer is too, then, I mean, she did murder someone, so might as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because people have to learn, like, oh, just because you're young and you're innocent <laughs> and you're sweet doesn't mean you can get away with literal murder, okay? <laughs> like, you gotta learn from your actions. There are consequences. And if there are other things that play in, then you should get help for that. But, I mean, really, you, you can't just, like, let everyone get off scot-free just because they're young and etc. Thanks for listening to this episode. Catch us later on the Christie Club. Thank you.